Hey everybody, Joy here. Yesterday was my mother's birthday. It was a lot of work getting ready for it. And a lot of tears were shed because I was so very, very upset that what is probably my mother's last birthday had only one of her kids at it. I was really down and sad about that and couldn't understand it. Um, but that's the way it was. Um, they were all invited. They all knew about it. Um, the farthest drive for one of them would have been three hours. The other one's two and a half. Um, I don't care what was going on in their lives. I don't care. There's no excuse that somebody couldn't give their mother one day. One day. I give her all my days. They couldn't give her one. So I had a real hard time with that. Um, so in all of my excitement about getting everything purple and getting violets and getting everything just right, you know, I was crying off and on because of that. Y'all, you know, so many of you have been there and you understand. But anyway, let me put my coffee down. I want to show you something. And by the way, <laughs> and it's so funny. Mom got up this morning and came out into the kitchen. She was out there at 7.45. Usually she's out there at like 8.15. She said, oh, Joy, I needed you. I needed you so much last night. I said, what happened, Mom? She said, I have not slept at all, all night long. She said, that has never happened to me before. She said, you gave me some kind of pill. And it kept me awake all night long. Well, I didn't give her any kind of pill. <laughs> but... You know, so many of you know about dementia, and you've dealt with it, and you know that they, they go in and out, and in, up and down, and in and out, and up and down like a roller coaster. And sometimes they're in a really good mood, and almost like normal, and other times they're just completely lost. Well, praise God forevermore, she woke up yesterday morning on her birthday, and she was not happy. Actually, Terry came over to help me, and she went in to say hi to Mom, and Mom was just rude to her, and Terry had never seen her that way before, and um, so I apologized to Terry. I said, I'm so sorry she woke up in that mood today. I said, I sure hope she gets out of it. Well, sure enough, she did. Uh, the aides got her dressed and fixed her hair and brought her out into the kitchen, and um, well, not the kitchen because I was decorating it, but... I guess I went in to see her. But anyway, that mood only lasted about 30 minutes, and then she got in her happy, loving mood again. So praise God for that, since it was her birthday. <laughs> but look what I have. Look what I have. I actually saved all the cards that these came in because I wanted to tell you guys how many states Mother got a birthday card from because of you wonderful, fabulous, marvelous people that care about my mother. Do you know she only got a card from one of her other kids? She has three other kids, she got one card, and that was a week ago. No gifts. She got one phone call, I was very happy about that, and um, my brother called her last night, I was happy about that. And of course, mother just raved and raved about how wonderful and perfect he is. But anyhow, look at this. fab you less. isn't that pretty? That came from Guardian, the hospice that takes care of mother. And then all of these other cards, well, there's probably three of them in here from us now, uh, the ones that the cat gave her and Jerry and I gave her, but she's got over 25 cards here, you guys. And she, you'll see it, I'll post the pictures. You guys will have to go to my blog, not today, give me some time, but you'll have to go to my blog because that's where I'm going to put the pictures. I do actually have some short videos on my cell phone uh, that I would love to show you, but um, so far I haven't figured out how to get them off my cell phone. Um, I'm hoping I can plug it into my computer and get them in directly that way because it says, this is too big, you're not there allowed to send it. <laughs> ah, why not? <laughs> so, anyway, she got all these wonderful cards. I'm telling you, they came from New York, from Florida, from Colorado, from West Virginia, from California, did I say Colorado, one from Oklahoma, oh my gosh, everywhere, all over the United States, one of you lovely, lovely, wonderful people, and you wrote little notes to me, thank you, I remember a lady, her last name was Ash, I don't remember her first name, wrote me the nicest, nicest note, and I saved it, and I'm keeping it. <laughs> 
But Mother adores these cards. She said, and she says, I want to look at those. I want them where I can look at them wherever, whenever I want to. She said, I want you to get a box or an album or something to put them in so I can keep on looking at them. So I have them all together, and right now they're in a freezer bag. But next time I get out, I'm going to look for something special, some pretty box or something to put them in for her because she really loves them. And if you go to my blog, I'll post um, so I'll try to post some things where you can see her looking at them. And if I can figure out how to upload the videos, I'll do that too. But her birthday was wonderful. Of course, I was the only kid here. Terry came. My friend Terry's a professional photographer, and she wanted to take a picture of my mom's probably final birthday. And I was hoping and praying that the picture would be of mother and her four children. Well, the picture is of mother and her one child. So I'm kind of sad about that, but it's a beautiful picture, and I'm thrilled to have it. But um, I feel like I failed her. You know, I feel like I failed her that her other three kids weren't here. I feel like the cupcakes with the violets on them and the other people that were here and the purple all over the kitchen and the purple napkins and the purple plates and and all of the shirts that I bought her that she loved. I feel like all of that was nice, but it wasn't anything compared to if she could have had her four kids with her. So I do regret that, but I'm just going to have to cast that care on the Lord and let him deal with it. <laughs> but anyway... Yes, I'm a little bit exhausted. I actually got um, dressed and ready to go to work this morning. And my husband suddenly got so weird. And he said, why are you going to work today, Joy? I said, you know, I've got to work on accreditation. I need to get Christmas cards out. I've got to print some checks for um, Marisa. I've got a bank statement to do. And he said, well, you, you need to take a day off. You don't need to go to work today. And I'm like, say what? <laughs> he said, seriously, you just stay home today. He's never, ever done that. And so I thought, well, okay. Well, then I was walking around, and Doreen was here, and I thought, I'm already dressed. I've already got my hair fixed. This is stupid. I need to go to work. And I told Jerry, I said, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and go to work. He said, no. And I said, Jerry, I need you. I need to get those Christmas cards out. He said, I'll bring the Christmas cards home. I'll bring your mail home. You don't need to come to work today. <laughs> so something very mysterious is happening at the store today. <laughs> I'm assuming, I'm probably completely wrong because I never read him right. But um, I'm assuming that he ordered something from Amazon or something, and it must be coming there today. I don't know. But, but he's never, ever, ever, ever said, Joy, don't go to work. <laughs> Usually he's like, don't you need to go to work more? <laughs> so anyway. But hey, you guys, I can never, ever thank you enough, 90 years young, for these cards. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And like I said, I'll show you more. Look at this, birthday thoughts and wishes. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I mean, they're not just any card. I mean, people went and got her beautiful cards. She read, you know what my mom really likes? She loves to read handwriting. My mother used to be a writer. She wanted to write a book and she wanted to be famous. And she belonged to this writer's club and she loved to be the speaker. She loved to get up in front of the people and be the speaker. And she wrote and she wrote and she wrote. I've got a box of stuff that she wrote. And so whenever she sees, it's like every day, Doreen, the nurse, takes care of mom. And she writes down, I have a notebook for her. And every day she puts the date and she writes this long, long thing about mother and what her temperature was, and what her attitude was, and what she ate, and what pills she took, and blah, blah, blah. Every night, mom says, I want to read that journal. Let me read that journal. And it could be three pages long. And I'll give her the journal at the table, and she will read every word of it. She loves it. <laughs> so anytime somebody wrote something in the card, Mother was really excited. <clears throat> anyway, happy birthday to someone who's special, smart, wonderful, cool, amazing, talented. Oh, such nice, nice card. And look at this one. This is one that my husband picked from the kitties. This one was from Boots, Barney, and Button. Mother loved it. <laughs> It's like she thought the cats really did it. <laughs> Look at this pretty one. Happy 90th birthday. Oh, it's just, you know, I like going through and looking at these myself. They're so wonderful. Anyway, very, very exciting. Bring on the happy, bring on the birthday. I just can't quit looking at them. They're so wonderful. <laughs> Anyway, I'll let you guys go. i got to work on my blog and get you guys some pictures to look at. So... Check on that. Y'all know my blog by now. Joy, just Google Joyful Dash, 
joyful dash expressions. The reason it has the dash in it is somebody already had joyful expressions. I couldn't believe it. I thought, who has joyful expressions? That's my name. <laughs> so I had to be joyful dash expressions. So, but not today, not today. It'll probably be a couple days, but there'll be some really nice pictures for you guys to see. All right, I gotta go. I'm working on Terry's Christmas present, and I've gotta get it done. All right, bye for now.